Yo, what's good YouTube man? It's your boy B and I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be showing y'all how to stop the most popular goal line plays Now those plays will be the fullback dive, the power roll out of goal line, and QB sneak Now those three plays, I, I found it like within the Madden community Like people do not know how to stop these plays and it's so so simple On once you see they're in goal line, it's, it's such an easy um, play call it's one it's, it's a few play calls you got to make to just go ahead and shut it down every single time to get them out of that to make them not confident in it and things like that man so let's go ahead and hop right into the video all right y'all man in today's video the formations we're gonna be in is gonna be out the goal line man now you're gonna need both goal line formations if i'm not mistaken i believe i don't think i've ever seen a playbook without both goal line formations if not the playbooks that have the goal line formations and things like that will be down below in the description but i don't in my opinion i feel like the playbooks the good playbook the good defensive playbooks should have both goal line formations within them now as far as the play you're gonna call now there's one specific play that i suggest calling um out of the 6-2 goal line formation is going to be a 60 out jacks um just for the simple fact it already has both linebackers blitzing you don't have to make uh, as many adjustments and things like that now as far as 5-3 goes um you're gonna you can literally pick any single play out of this and it's gonna operate the same now i could go ahead and tell y'all right now this is for the qb sneak um this formation right here so it's not gonna matter which play it is um only thing that matters as far as what play it is is your coverage and what type of coverage you like to run now me personally i would go with the middle linebacker gap a just for the simple fact of it already has my user blitzing and that's what i'm gonna be doing and it has the right people in coverage that i want in coverage man now um Let's go ahead and hop right into the setup. There's no formation subs or anything that you have to do here specifically. Um, and so, yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and hop right into it, man. Yo, boys, before we hop into anything, please be sure to go check out my Discord. Link in bio. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Both links are, um, to those um, social media platforms are in the bio as well. Please go click on those. Join the court, man, because that's where I be at most. Um, for the most interactions, man, if you want to communicate me in the fastest way possible, go ahead, follow me on Twitter and DM me. Um, and as far as TikTok goes, man, I'm trying to go grow my platform there. So go ahead and follow me on there. Now we can hop right into the video. All right, y'all, man. First things first is going to be against the power O play. That's what we're going to start with. Now, for this play, you want to be in the um, goal line 6-2 out of 60 out jacks now for this play it's a very simple play play setup the only difficult part is you have to attempt to guess which side they're running to because you want to be on the opposite linebacker of the way they're running so if they're running right you want to be on the left uh linebacker and vice versa now a easy uh well to make it an easier prediction because there's no 100 percent way to tell which way they're running um you should know the play starts off running to the right like most well the power roll out of goal line the stock play runs to the right so my the way i like to do it is the first time they come out in goal line um i go ahead and automatically assume that they're running the ball to the right side just for the simple fact if that's where the play starts uh, off from now if i get the the senses of they they're gonna flip it i go ahead and switch linebackers if not um i stay on my same linebacker now as far as the setup goes it's a very simple setup you want to spread your d line slant outside now as far as this gap shoot goes man it's it's all about the angle you take so you want to kind of take an angle that's kind of like this like right there y'all see where i'm running just like that and you should be able to um get to the halfback before he gets to the end zone and like i said boom there we have it that's the angle you want to back them up get in the backfield and the only bad thing about it is that that tackle can sometimes be difficult to make um but if you know what you're doing if you practice a good bit you should be able to make the tackle and another good thing is as y'all can clearly see although he's activated Levante David our other backside linebacker is also getting in there so although you don't if say for instance you don't guess you're on the wrong linebacker you're on the um the ball side linebacker the way they're running you still have that high chance that the CPU gets in there for a gap shoot as well man that's why I love this defense so 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 much um just for the simple fact of it works sometimes it just it just works regardless man it gets great shit um from the D alignment a lot of the times um boom and there we have it another gap shoot man so i know y'all can't be in my comments talking about this is fake this is fake this is fake this this is fake that because first of all i have the ball pushed up as far as close as possible to the goal line like that it can be in practice mode 
and I just did it like I got I stopped him on the goal line about like three to four times just now um, doing the same exact thing man so now we can go hop into our next coverage for the next goal line play man I'm showing y'all the goal line bag man all right y'all boys here we have it against the QB sneak now you want to be in the goal line five three like I already mentioned in the intro this is what this formation is for now as far as the setup goes very simple and easy setup now this one you want to pinch your d-line and slam them to the left and you just want to stand in the gap to the right man now if they run right you should be able to make the play if they run i mean if he runs the qb sneak to the left the cpu should be able to make the play now as far as your user goes if they run to your side all you want to do is just as soon as he call hut just run in the gap like y'all just seen there man he's not touching that end zone man even with the ball as close as possible um to the to the end zone um, we still are able to make the stop on the QB sneak, man. And I know this is a very reliable play for a lot of people, man. And we are stopping it every single time, man. Every single time. Like I said, same goes for this play. I'm doing it. I'm I'm doing it in a row, man. Like y'all can't sit here, sit up here in the comment section, and say these defenses don't work against these goal line plays because we're simply just doing it over and over and over again, man. Let me show it one final one final time, and then we can go ahead and ho head over to the um, fullback dive play. And boom, there goes another stop, man. If you know animations, man, you know the difference between when the QB gets in, the end zone, the QB sneak, and when they don't, man. And those are, in all four of those times, he did not get in the end zone, man. You can just tell by the animation. So let's go ahead and head over to our last and final play. All right, y'all, man. Now for the fullback dive. Now, fullback dive, out of all these plays, it, besides, I feel like the QB sneak is pretty easy to stop. But fullback dive is also easy to stop just because of how wide open the gap shoot is. Um, on the freaking, what play? The power O play, it's a lot of pulling guards and stuff like that. So you have to take the right angle to get around blockers and stuff like that to get in the backfield. But for this play, it's just straight up wide open. It's very difficult to miss a tackle on this play, man. Um, but you're going to be out the, the same play that you were in for the power O, man. Um... The goal line, 6'2", 60 out jacks. Same setup, spread, slant outside. Um, but this time, you feel me, just go ahead and move, uh, move your, your user to the inside just a tad bit. And it's the same thing. You want to be on the opposite linebacker um, than the way they're running. So if they're running left, you want to be on the right linebacker and vice versa, man. So let's go ahead and wait for him to call Hut. Mm -mm. One second. Boom. Look at that. We have two people shooting the gap, man. We have your user and the CPU shooting the gap. Like, like this is, has to be by far the easiest goal line play to stop, man. It's too easy, bro. I don't see I don't see how this is like such a a reliable goal line play. Like, y'all see we get in the backfield every single time. And it's two people every single time, man. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm surprised more of the community did not know about this gap shoot. Boom. Easy tackles, man. Whether they break it or not, they break it. We have another man coming. Like, come on, bro. Come on. One more time, man. One more time. Just for the sake of comment section, man. For the sake of the comment section. That time he got a little uh, fall for it. Animation. It was a little glitchy. But we still were able to get somebody through the gap. But y'all know we don't end videos like that, man. Let's get a clean rep. Let's get a clean rep, man. Wait for him to call hut. Boom. Back there. Back there. Two people back there, man. Easy TFLs, bro. Easy, easy, easy TFLs, man. And that should pretty much wrap up the video right there. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, sub up. And if you haven't already, please go check out the links in the description. Join up my Discord. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Um, my Twitter is at TGBBean underscore. My TikTok is at TGBBean. And comment down below what type of videos you like to see from me in the future. And if you would bean, and I'm out enjoyed this video this tutorial video right here please be sure to check out the one on your screen it's just as useful